More vaccine campaigns will target those who are hesitant to get a shot. Inter-island travel is on track to get easier and making tourism better for locals by reserving areas for residents on the weekends. Those are all on the governor's wish list, which he laid out in a one-on-one -on -one interview with our Manolo Morales. The governor says not allowing tourists to visit certain spots on weekends would be hard to enforce, but he says the visitor industry can help. The idea is being explored by the Hawaii Tourism Authority, and the governor says it's a matter of sending the right message and tone to the visitors. We would be happy for you to, to uh, go to different facilities, but we also ask you to respect uh, the notion of sharing access to a beach or a park uh, with the local residents. As for vaccinations, Ige says the state has given at least one dose to 60% of the adult population. But he admits there is some hesitancy among those who are younger, so there's a push for more campaigns on social media and more efforts to reach immigrant populations who aren't getting the right message. We are trying to provide on-site um, uh, language interpreters uh, to be able to speak and respond to questions uh, for anybody that might continue to have questions. Vaccinations will play a key part in allowing residents to travel inter-island on May 11th. Ige says Safe Travels is currently testing the system to electronically verify the information. The goal is to allow residents to register their information by May 7th. We hope to do the electronic um, um, val verification when we launch on the May 11th date. Uh, you know, we're on, on track to be able to do that. If not, then the vaccination card will have to be checked manually, so make sure you bring it. The governor also says he will likely approve the bill passed by the legislature that will allow police to issue fines to those who violate the mask mandate or gathering limits. Assuming that everything checks out and I sign it, then we'll be working with uh, the, the counties to implement. So I, I would imagine uh, in a month or so after signing that we would be able to implement. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.